Podcast Tattoo for you, Richard here, and it is time for a tips, trips, and whoopsies. Um, I am doing some terrain stuff today. It's Thursday. And it was the perfect opportunity for me to show you some tips, tricks, and just me oopsies. Now, these aren't, again, this, this is not my personal trick. I didn't go, ooh, look what I learned or I discovered. I'm smart. No, this is me, layman man, uh, trying out a tip I saw from someone else um, to prove to you that anybody, if I can do it, anybody can. Because I'm nothing special. Except from what mommy says, I'm really special. Um, so we saw this before. I did this on a review. Uh, made up this little terrain piece for uh, testing out these sandbags and uh, whatnot. So I decided to make a couple more pieces of scattered terrain to match this. To kind of go together, give them a... Uh, like, this is something you would see near each other on a battlefield. Um, so, in, with the opportunity to do that, I came up with using the... Uh, you, I came up with the opportunity to... What? What is he saying? He's just putting words together now. That's right. I decided this would be the perfect opportunity to use this. This is cheesecloth. My wife got it for some purpose. I don't know why. I can't remember now. Something she was doing or something she do, uh, did with for a present or whatever. Doesn't matter, Richard. Shut it and get to the point. Sorry. So I decided to use it to do a technique I've seen several times. Uh, Terrain Tutor did it with uh, baby wipes. It's a PVA baby wipe technique to make, like, he used, baby wipes are perfect for canvas and stuff. Um, I saw it on uh, Facebook a couple times. This one cat did it. I can't remember his name. I mean, it's like Phil, Paul, Peter, Petunia. It started with a P. And he does some amazing terrain stuff. I think he's in the terrain tutor group. But anyway, ugh, he did the same thing using paper towels. So I decided to do it with cheesecloth and see how it turned out. So let's go table down and see how it turns out and hope I don't screw it all to pieces. Table down time peoples oh before we do that i'm gonna do i ooh, do, do, terrain more terrain will be coming i'm gonna do little bit bits and pieces i'm finally gonna start that giant landing pad out of the clock i'm gonna start that because i have the my leds should show up i was able i sold a few more comics and got me some little bit of money to pick me up a LED kit. So we're going to play around with some electricity. I hate that stuff. I hate it. It's bad. It hurts. It's my high twitch. But that's later. Let's get to this. Go down to the table right now. See you in a minute. guys. Here we are. Table down. Um, let's step this out of the way real quick. What we have here is... Can we remember this terrain piece when I did the review of these... Um, Little sandbag dealies. So what I wanted to do is more scattered terrain to go with it. Um, so I just got this one little piece here. And then there's that barrel that I did my rust technique on. And my chipping and weathering stuff. Um, added. I did this first. This little piece. And I felt like I needed more. And I wanted to tie everything in together. So I took the barrel that I had. Hot glued it down. Added my sand around it. Which is still a little moist that's why um i haven't primed it or anything yet but uh added that there put the sand around it to kind of bring it in and tie it into the base really good and then threw on the last little sandbag i had because i used the other somewhere else um so yeah once that's dry i'll prime this i'll hand prime this like paint it on with the brush 
and then go back over it and paint it all black so that way I can put it all in. But we're not really using this today. It's more for this little thing I made. Um, hard to see because it's black, but it's just a little piece of scattered terrain. Got some grainy grading on there to kind of bring it in with that. And then uh, more sandbags. Missed a little spot in the prime, but these are chopsticks, little chopstick posts. I just cut them down to a certain height and then angled them. Uh, not angled, yeah. Sorry, I have a bit of a the sniffles going on. Oh, allergies. Again, thanks to Texas weather. But yeah. Angled them all funny. Like they're kind of leaning and stuff from the water that flows up through here. Because with the, with the world we're on, of course the water rises and lowers during the times of the year. So some of these areas would be underwater at points, like a little bit. Be slightly flooded. So I wanted to kind of give that effect on these poles. Have them kind of leaning over like they started to kind of shift a little bit. But what I'm doing with this... Added the sandbags to tie everything in together again. Granny grading, the sand, all the normal stuff, just for a little scatter piece. But I have cheesecloth that we got for my wife got for some project a long time ago, and then she gave it to me because she didn't need it. Um, I've seen techniques done several times on YouTube. Terrain Tutor did it once, a little tutorial on it. Um, I saw a couple of cats do it on uh, recently on. Uh, Facebook where they did paper towels but you essentially here I have a Elmer's glue water and I used a little bit of the Castellan green Citadel paint to kind of see if I can tint it um, and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna soak the cheesecloth in it get it nice and soaked and then we're gonna put this on here as a covering and then I have this extra piece that I thought I would maybe bring this one back over because I might use it today. Maybe drink, uh, drape it across the rock here. You know, make it look like it was just part of it. Um, I still have to go back and paint everything, so I'll need to see. I, don't, I hope the, the green takes a bit on the cheesecloth, so I won't have to paint it as much. But, yeah. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, actually, it is this cheesecloth. And then this wad. So I'm gonna try this piece first. We're gonna just drop it in here. Sorry, I've got one arm holding the camera steady, and then my other arm is doing all the work. So we're gonna soak it, drop it in there, and I'm just gonna dredge it, you know. We're gonna dredge it through there and get it kind of saturated. Now, it might be a little too thick. But I'm going to hold it and let it kind of just run all down and drain. Because you look at the top, see how you can actually see the textures in there. It looks like camo netting. That's what I want. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I had some rubber gloves, I would just get in there and pinch it. And kind of pull some of that stuff through. But I really don't want to get all green. Or do I? I'll be like the Incredible Hulk. Hulk smash. There we go. See, look at that. That's good. I like that. That already looks good. Draw my hands off a little bit. All right. And then what we're going to do is this is I'm going to come in and I'm going to drape it over the rock. And hopefully when it dries, it'll kind of look like camo netting that was just laid there and never got used. I'll dry brush it to, of course, bring out some of the, the edges and highlights and stuff. So, but you can do stuff like this with tanks. Um, get some of this cheesecloth because I like cheesecloth because of the pat because of the pattern, how it's kind of real just see through. It looks like a bunch of what it is, a bunch of strings woven together. Um, but you can do stuff like that on tanks, like they drape it across the barrel, wrap the barrel in it. Um, just things like that you, you see them do on typical, look at, best thing, Google it. Google uh, tanks, camo netting, things like that, and uh, you'll see some cool effects. So I'm going to let that dry, and we're going to do this one next. 
So and honestly, that's going to take a while to dry. So we'll cut away, and then when we come back, you'll get to see the finished product. I really, I'm doing this on Thursday, so I really wish I had it started sooner. So that way I could have... Now this is going to be the hard part. Sorry, I, I stopped my train of thought real quick. Um, because I need this to be stretched out and flat. So I want to make sure it stays that way. And see how that one kind of got all wadded up? I don't want this one to wad up like that. And I want to make sure as much of the green, the dripping is off of here as possible. So. Honestly, this is going to be, a, this is definitely going to be interesting to see if this one works out. I'm going to get, I have a paper plate over here that I use for flocking and basing and stuff. So I'm going to pull this out. Yes, I just shook the excess dust off on the floor. Ha ha. My wife's gonna kick my butt. Now what she don't know won't hurt me, will it? Yes, it will. So I'm gonna pull this out. Running it all along the side to kind of get all that excess paint off of it. I'll probably do it again too. Let's go ahead and just Ooh, it's fun getting messy. Messy, messy, messy. I love it. I need to get some of my rubber gloves out and just strain it or wring, wring it out. <clears throat> so we're going to set this here and I am going to stretch it out flat while I get paint everywhere. Luckily I have a, uh, my paint wiping t-shirt next to me. So let's see. See if I can unravel this, or not unravel it, un unsmoosh it. That's part is finding the edges. So guys, this is a really messy thing trick. So those things. I should have thought this through better. But okay, so we're gonna pull this guy over here. I'm gonna hook it to the best of my abilities on all four of these posts. I hope you can see that good. And then we're just gonna let it hang. It's okay if it drapes. I mean, you want it to look naturally like it, it sits up there. So, turn it around. Go through and just kind of mess with it and pull it out down. Try to give it that natural weight. You know, cloth resting on something. Sorry about the camera. See, something like that. So it gives you like a nice little camo net looking effect. So you could go back to later on if you had like some uh, leaves or stuff like that. You could go and sprinkle that across the top. Um, in the long run, when I'm done with this, I'm probably going to throw like a little bit of dirt on there and stuff. Just to kind of really grunge it up a little bit more. And this should be... I don't want... I got green on my fingers. And glue, too. It's already starting to get sticky. Yeah, it should be enough I could slide a guy underneath there. Or at least kind of get him under there. And access it through here, too. So I can still get there and access everything. But I think that's a cool little battlefield terrain piece, a little scatter piece. So, what I'm going to do, we're going to let this dry and when we come back, I will have painted it the rest of the way to blend everything together. So, uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Guys, here we go. Um, everything's dry. I ran out of time today. I'm not going to be able to paint them. But what I'll do is I'll paint them over the weekend and get them, uh, show them to you on uh, Monday's update. 
So just keep an eye out for that. Uh, I have a lot of other stuff I need to really get started on, and this is taking a lot of time. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because it take, took so long for everything to dry. Uh, but I have my... Here, I'll just kind of pop over there. That's the base for the town art. I got it primed and ready to go for tomorrow's Journey into Forge World. And I'm going to really film it today, Thursday. So I really need to get on it pretty quick. But, um, so yeah, uh, here's this, the original piece that I started off that I wanted to kind of mimic. And then here's the, an extra piece with the extra barrel. And then this was what the, the tutorial was for is how to do this and how it turns out. So <clears throat> what we'll do first, we'll slide this out of the way and we'll slide this guy to the forefront and just kind of do a little rotate around it so you can kind of see, and this is dry. Um, I really should have done more hanging stuff down so it looks proper. I mean, but you can kind of pretend that's blowing in the wind a little bit or something. Um, but yeah, it's it's hard. See, you set guys up here if you wanted to. It's not floppy. It's not anything. It's it's solid. All that is because it was soaked in the PVA glue. Now, uh, you, like I said, you could do this with this cheesecloth, with I, which I prefer because of the way it looks, especially from the top. I mean, that looks like some kind of netting, you know. <clears throat> but you can do it with uh, uh, baby wipes I've seen is what uh, I believe the Terrain Tutor uses and that really gives a good canvas look um, paper towels can kind of give you a nice pattern too you can even get like if you're doing diorama situation or something like maybe bigger or whatever you could do something similar to that with uh, paper towels with patterns on them and it almost looked like a quilt or something if you folded it up just right and kind of glued it and had it seal and then painted it up proper but yeah I mean the guys go under there fairly well you know just slide them in there maneuver them not while both of them are under there at the same time but enough to adjust them if I need to I might even come popping out here over here not so much that droops down a bit more than I thought. And then his, the towel's guns are like ridiculously long too. So, but see, he can even slide out from under here if you need to. So that way you don't have to like, oh, I gotta go two inches, an inch this way and then that way, and I've lost part of my movement. You know, you're still going however many inches to right here. So yeah, this worked out pretty good. Um, like I said, I just used, I would say it was a little bit more PVA to water. So I do like say 65, 45, uh, 65, 35 water PVA mix, um, give or take. Definitely more PVA than water. And then it'll dry up really nice. I got to get in there. See, I missed a lot of spray. But yeah, guys, this is what I want to show you. Um, I hope you like the tutorial. You want to give it a try. Look for some cheesecloth. Um, great for this stuff. Great if you want to do a diorama with a tank, like say a Layman Russ. Have it look like it's set and you have the, this netting draped over the, the barrel of it. Um, would look really cool. Like they're trying to you know, camouflage the barrel into some, some woods or something. Um, yeah, I think it'll turn out pretty good. This one over here, I mean, it kind of, I mean, it's what I wanted. I wanted it to look like it was folded up and laid there. It's still a little moist. Um, apologize for people who hate that word. I think that's pretty crazy that people dislike that word so much um but but yeah i mean it, it looks like what it's supposed to it's one of these netting rolled up and just dropped down there so again imagine that draped across a barrel or something or <coughs> excuse me i even thought uh if i get really into one of my uh storm surges and start changing them up just a little bit and adding a little bit more details and stuff to them um, doing something like this over the top, like have this draping over the open, uh, the open top of the, the, uh, it was bad. the open top of the thingy ma bobber, the upper torso, the open can of, the open blah, 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 you know what, you know what I'm talking about. Most of y'all have seen that big gum thing. I just can't speak it. So yeah, 
Here's my towel guy who's not painted. Here's one that is painted. Just not based. And not painted very well. I have issues about painting small figures. I need to get a little bit better about that. But I'm working on it. I'm slowly working on it. So, uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and all that jizzy jazz. Uh, if you have any questions or anything else you'd like me to try in a tutorial, I have a few things in my list. Uh, I'm going to mark this one off now. But if there's anything that comes up and you're like, hey, I've seen this somewhere. Uh, I want to see somebody who's super noob do it and not a professional. Just throw it down in my list, man. I'll give it a shot. Uh, love you guys so much. Y'all are the best. Y'all are the greatest. Uh, I appreciate it. And have a happy, wonderful nerd life, my friends. Stay up. See ya.